new Stonemeyer game incoming. Boom, 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 boom. Tick tock, tick tock. Pendulum. I just received this from Stonemeyer Games. Uh, they're going to be revealing this later. And I'm just going to go ahead and do an unboxing now and uh, put it out on the internet later. But right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Time Conquers All. From what I understand, this is a real-time style action game. Now, I will go ahead and say I'm usually not a huge fan of those. But this one kind of intrigues me with some of the, uh, some of the details on it. In Pendulum, each player is a powerful noble vying to succeed the timeless king as the true ruler of Dunya. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Each noble in the game is unique. Players command their workers, execute stratagems, and expand the provinces in their domain in real time to gain resources and move up the four victory tracks. Power, prestige, popularity, and legendary achievement. Use your time wisely, as a player who has shown themselves the most fit to rule during the final council will be declared the new Timeless Ruler. Okay, and it tells you right here, it's a turnless, real-time strategy game for one to five players. You have to use actual time as a resource, that's interesting, in managing their strategy to best the opponents each time, or I'm sorry, using time on different action types and balancing it with time spent planning and analyzing faster isn't always better. All right, so let's go ahead and bust this joker open. Back to the future strength. Rip that off. Sorry, I had to do that. What do you do? It's about time. I'm sure it doesn't fit. All right, so let's get this bad boy open. All right, we got the, ooh, we got that really Beautiful feeling rule book that Stonemeyer's kind of getting known for now. All right. I like the board layouts. That's kind of nice. It's going to be interesting to see. Your artwork's interesting. We're going to find out how good this game's going to be. We'll have a review up later, obviously. Um, ooh, I like that artwork. You see that? That's pretty nice. There's a grande worker. They sure do love those in their games. Common worker and any worker. Okay. Cool. Let's take a look at the pieces. This is for the Atoma. If you are a solo fan. I'm not a massive solo fan, so I don't always get into these. But um, I've begun to like some solo games in recent years. So, And then we have a quick reference guide. Very nice. We like quick reference guides. My goodness. Quick. It's got a lot on it. <laughs> That's good though. You want those. <clears throat> Sometimes I wish they would include as many players as you have, but you know, you can pass this around or make copies if you have to. I usually don't like doing that, but whatever. All right, so you got your time track. Huh. This looks interesting to say the least. All right, let's take a look at this board, shall we? So the board is double-sided. Um, there's one side for one to three players, and the other side is for four to five. We're just going to stick with the one to three on this side. Now, not knowing much about this game, I'm not going to know exactly what this board is for and what it, you know, what you're supposed to do on it. But I like the look of it anyway. Uh, this looks like a scroll, I think. <laughs> looks like one of those things you unfurl. You got a uh, quill, an ink. What is that called? Ink quill. It's got a knife knocked into a uh, into a note there. Looks like a scimitar, almost like a scimitar, but not exactly. You got some uh, a bag of gold. So nice artwork. It's got like a it looks almost like a little bit of a map of some sort. But we'll figure this out. All right. So we got this Joker. Rip this thing open. Man, this has got. I can already feel the texture. It's got a bit of a tapestry style board to it. At least that the texture was. Not sure again what every board's going to be about, but like I say I like the look of them. Everything, you know, Stone Meyer, they usually put out um, excellently crafted um, quality in their games. And take a look. Hear that? There's that that texturing right there. This is for the Atoma or Atoma. I guess that's how you say it. So there's that. Then it looks like player boards. 
Um, I like that artwork. Is that the Timeless King? I could no gamble the briar, uh, the briber. Okay, or Gumball. Let's see, Gumball the Insurgent. Interesting. So they have uh, double sided for each. I wonder if they uh, become evil or something. Bulk the Champion. He looks like a angry bull with a lion's head almost. Bulk the Warmonger. I really like the design on that, the graphic design. I'm gonna butcher this name. Licinia, the Implacable. Okay, let's see what she turns into. Licinia, the Alchemist. Um, and you know what? I wonder if, I'm trying to see if there's any difference in powers here, or if there are powers that I can, okay, yeah. You look at the bottom section here you see that there's differences and whatever their i guess what their powers are i'm not quite sure but that's interesting you've got drink here the insidious um yeah i don't want to go up near that dude he looks evil uh either way and here's i guess his powers what he's able to do drink here the tyrant oh i like that he's got a rod of iron Mesowat, the Justicar. Justicar, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Mesowat, the pacifist. He still doesn't look like much of a pacifist to me, but oh well. And Gamble the Briber again. Okay, cool. We got three really beautiful sand timers, actually. Um, one of them, I think, is three minutes. The other one's two, and the last one is 45 seconds. I'm not sure which is which, but I do know, I remember reading that. So, you got those three timers to show that you have time you got to deal with. Huh. Okay, so I was expecting wood, but these are actual plastic pieces. I guess that's your grande workers. And there's your baby workers. I don't know. Looks like an onk almost. Um, and then, is there another one? thought I read that there was a third worker. Maybe not. Well, these are basically what your workers are. You got babies and grandes. I'm saying babies, but you know what I mean. That's cool. I like the look and feel. I'm not going to pour all these out, but just so you know what's what. We got these purple uh, thingies. Don't know what these purple thingies are for, but they're pretty purple thingies. More like lavender, but you know what I mean. So that's those thingies. You got your cube thingies. They're cubes. They're cubes. Yay for cubes. Okay, cubes. All right, so we've got a bag full of different shapes. They're all plastic. You see that uh, hourglass in the middle there? So that's cool. Like I said, everything's pretty high quality just from the feel of it. More cubes and thingies. What would all these different shape thingies be without cylinder thingies there we go cylinder thingies more cubes all right so i was excited to see this a metal throwing star thingy it is metal though it's got a little heft to it you throw that at somebody who's winning and no, i'm kidding but anyway that's cool that's in there i like it we got card thingies i'm kidding i'm gonna stop doing that uh these cards again don't know what they mean pick up one discarded uh that type of card i guess not sure what all these mean but the symbology i hope will be able easy to pick up looks interesting got a lot of symbology on these cards at least some of them okay all right, we're not gonna go through the whole deck, but that's that's kind of what those cards look like. Again, not quite sure what those cards are for. All right, I'm happy. This actually has my name in it, Kaz, K-A-S. Kaz a lot. That's right, baby, because you can never get enough of Kaz. You need a lot of Kaz. And, oh, maybe these are double-sided. Okay, so that would match. Ah, that must be where these go, right? And you don't know what's coming out of it. See, 
they must go on each spot that matches the back of this. I can see it right there. That matches that. So, uh, not sure what all these do again, but that's cool. It costs a lot. Look, Gulliver's Travel. I mean, Gulliver. Okay, Gulliver or whatever. LA Pikes End. Again, don't know anything about these. I like the look of these, though. I do like the, the style. The style's cool. Okay. Nice. Pretty artwork. Again, I'll tell you, I'm not a massive fan of every single one of Stone Myers games. I like a lot of them. Um, but I'll if I'm going to say anything that you can say about every game they have, the quality of the components especially, and the overall kind of design feel, I guess, is absolutely... I will say second to none in terms of attention to detail. That's what I would say. I mean, that, that's how a lot of them feel, you know. Uh, this deck, it almost looks like an Atoma deck, but I could be wrong. Not sure what that's for. There's several little things in here. There's different colors, so maybe that's for different characters. I don't know. Again, th th it almost looks Atoma-ish to me, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Gumball the Insurgent. Play this card to place a worker directly into the rewards box of an action space in a row with a timer on it. Take that action. Okay, so there's something for everybody here. And then you flip it over, yeah. Oh, no. The insurgent, the insurgent. <clears throat> okay, so it's the same thing. Interesting. Wait a minute. So, huh, is it a different kind of power for each? I don't know if these are powers or not. Interesting, okay, so everybody's got a card. Council phase. Again, I keep feeling like these are Atoma cards, maybe. They might be. I'm not sure. Council phase cards. Elite troops. Summit and Mont Montbriel. I like the names. Proven leader. Crush rebellion. That's what I'm talking about. There be, better be some death in this game. Divine favor. Foreign conscripts. Champion of the people. Trade Pact, Imperial Legion, Military Parade. That's right. Yeah, again, I don't know what these do, but we've got to make it fun. Okay, so we'll look at these cars just a little bit. Ah, Atoma. Yeah, I figured some of these would be. Atoma Worker Movements. You got the Atoma Trigger Win, so on and so forth. The purple, if possible, if not flip green. Yeah, these are definitely an Atoma deck. Okay. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that is pretty much the unboxing of Pendulum. Time conquers all. Uh, this will be coming out when uh, <clears throat> Stonemaier Games decides to make a statement about it. And it should be in a, over a month, I think, from now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the uh, unboxing from the Dice Odyssey. We will also have a review up at some point after we've played it enough. Thank you again. You have a blessed day and game away.